Hi Pisces! Welcome to your mid-May general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. So for this reading, I'm going to tune in and ask for an energy to come through that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm going to ask how they feel about you right now at this time. What do they think about you? What they like about you, don't like about you? What they like about the connection that they have with you currently and what they don't like about it? And what their highest hopes are and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you or how they feel about you? What's to move forward with it? So this is not going to resonate with every Pisces that watches this message. If this message is not for you, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Pisces, who wouldn't be? Just a quick reminder that guys, that energy is fluid. This means that you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed and that's completely okay. You're welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best as you listen to this reading. All right, Pisces, let's get started. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about how this person feels about them? Woo okay, two of pentacles coming through. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn. Your chart does not have to be the case. Huh. Wow, okay. So I'm picking up on someone that you've been in a connection with. Um, you definitely have know each other already. You aren't talking right now. You're not speaking. You haven't hung out in a bit for the last couple months I may be hearing. So maybe things have kind of left off early 2021. Um, but man, Pisces, they still think about you. They still want you in their lives, but it's just, it's a rocky situation going on between the two of you. Um, with the two of pentacles, they keep on going back and forth about how they feel about you and what they want in this with you. And that's kind of what drove you crazy. That's kind of what pushed you away. And they do know now that there is some sort of disinterest on your end because the back and forth is just not going to work with you. Bottom of the deck, though, we have Nine of Cups. This is Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with another Pisces, perhaps. Does not have to be the case. Pisces, in the past, though, when you guys were talking, when you guys would hang out, when you guys were connecting, they were happy with what they had with you. But it does feel one-sided here as far as where it was between the two of you and where it wasn't going. Someone was happy with keeping it at that exact pace while someone else wanted more from this. Someone does feel, Pisces, that, you know, when they met you, there was some sort of wish fulfillment that went on of finally this is someone that I vibe with. This is someone that I can kick it with and have so much more of an emotion, a chemistry, a passion with. But what was lacking here was commitment, stability, reliability. And I could see that with all the pentacles coming up here in the current energy. Um, I'm seeing a picnic basket. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe you guys have had a picnic dip together before, ate outside before, during quarantine times or during um, restrictions that were ha that you know happened all over the world. Um, you guys could have like eaten outside a couple times, a few times together. Just for some of you, if that's clarification. Um, we do have two eights here. Some of you could be seeing eighty-eight, eight, eight, eight. Um, some of you could be born February 8th, 28th, uh, March 8th, or March 18th. But they want, they want to see you again, Pisces. They want to hang out with you again. They want to connect with you again. But the one problem here is if you are feeling the same way, do you have the same interest in this? That's what's on the back of their mind. Every time they think about reaching out to you, will you even respond? 
let's go into it. How they feel about you, two of pentacles. Back and forth. They want this. They want to reach out. They want to see how you've been doing. They want to see, um, hear from you that you still feel the same, that you still think about them as much as they think about you, but they hold back again. And they wonder if they should continue to hold back because you guys haven't talked to each other in a few months. And if it's not a few months, it's been some quite some time. Some of you, if this has been more recent, you guys have stopped talking. Um, it's definitely been on their mind if she, they should be the first to reach out to you. Even though they may know they should be, they kind of go back and forth on that. Pisces, I feel you want them to reach out. You're not going to reach out again is what I'm hearing. So maybe before in the past when things were kind of silent, you were always the first to reach out, but you're not going to do that again. And you're really, really hoping that they will follow through on re reaching out to you first for some of you. Pisces, someone really likes the way you dress, really likes your clothing style. Um, they find it very attractive, very fitting. I don't know. It's just so, your style in itself is very unique and very attractive in their eyes. Why are they struggling with this so much? Why is the two of pentacles here? The world? Yeah, should we just wrap this up? Should we just leave it at where it was? Would Pisces want to just leave it where it was? Would Pisces not want to give this another chance? Is Pisces on to doing more, uh, elevating, going into the next chapter in their life? Some of you may be well known online, social media. Maybe you do your work through there, promotion through there. Um, they're definitely still watching you on your social media with the Page of Swords and then this combination here, definitely. Yeah, and then Two of Pentacles again. Um, you know, it's like they feel, as the ship is leaving, they're kind of feeling a bit confused and even for some, not all, a bit foolish about them still not making this decision as they see you pull out of the dock, you know, not just wanting this anymore to see their, to you Pisces, their lack of action is communicating a lack of interest and you're not going to wait around for someone anymore that won't put any work or effort or make a decision even at the very slightest of what they want in this with you. But what they think of you is page of wands, fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. They get excited when they think about you. They think of the times when you guys were together, when you had those very passionate moments between one another. I'm hearing passionate kisses. Um, I'm hearing legs wrapped around. Someone needs to do that with the other one. I don't know who that's for. Confirmation for someone out there. Um, they think about their strong sexual attraction to you. Yeah, I'm feeling a very strong um, sacral chakra activation here kind of moving around a bit and I feel Pisces that you have a lot unlocked within them their sacral chakra through this connection with you or when you guys first met for some of you it was like the sacral chakra chakra was really lightened it was very active and that's what's still pulling them to you driving them to you um someone has very long beautiful hair or their natural hair is just gorgeous. They love it. Um, or someone's ha has grown out their hair since you guys last saw each other. But they're thinking about, you know, if they were to reach out to you, it would be a bit of a flirtatious, charming, seductive type of way. And maybe Pisces, you know, that's how they communicate. That's how they always come off when they come back into your life again. Also for some, there could be, someone could be significantly younger than the other person, Pisces, maybe you are, and they do find that kind of thrilling in some sort of way, if that resonates with you guys. What they like the most about you is Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. You could have Earth in your chart, in your big three, or just somewhere in your inner planets, but they know, Pisces, that if they were to start something off with you, it could be very st stable. You're very loyal. You're very kind. You're giving. You're generous. And 
you would be interested in starting something should it be exactly what you want out of this. Someone who is devoted, someone who, I don't know, this person is just very inconsistent, very flighty, or that's how you feel about them. And you're only wanting to start something if it's going to be valuable to you, worthwhile to you. And someone that's in and out of your life is not worthwhile to you. They know that you could give all to this and that you would be someone that is very valuable should they like they could see you as being a girlfriend a boyfriend absolutely there's no question about that but is that what they want right now that's what they go back and forth with but out of anyone pisces you are the person they would commit to someone needs to know that and someone could also have a lot of pillows on their bed as well um when they go to sleep you have to pull a bunch of pillows off but it's nice for decor decoration what they don't like about you, Pisces, Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Um, I feel this has been recent or since, you know, the latest energy between the two of you, you have been closed off in this. You haven't been, you know, showing as much interest in this. You haven't been opening up to them. And I feel that's when, like, you guys last kind of spoke. You were sending, like, very brief messages or you were talking very... Um, what is it sporadically like you weren't replying immediately you take your time because it's like you felt like this was just another merry-go-round with them again and you're tired of it they're still you know liking how the passion connects you to they like how you know it hasn't taken off into a commitment but that's not what you're into but it's been on their mind now especially with the ace of pentacles is it worth committing to Pisces to keep them in my life because when they're not in my life I start thinking about them constantly and they do Pisces but we'll get into that what they like about the connection six of swords Aquarius energy so Pisces I feel that you arrived in their life or they arrived in your life during a transition period um, someone was going through some things, someone was leaving a relationship, leaving a job that wasn't making them happy, and you were that breath of fresh air that came into their lives, that helped them through that transition, whether you were aware of it or not. Um, others of you, this could indicate a long dis or far distance between the two of you. I don't feel, it could be the case, I guess, I don't feel like it's super far apart like you guys are just a few hours away from each other and someone would always be willing to drive to go see the other person um and someone was willing to make that drive every time but it started to get old after a while but pisces regardless of you know what messages resonated with you you did awaken something in their consciousness about what it is that they've been missing in their lives haven't had in their lives and spending time with you has made them realize that maybe there is something more they want than just having a fun time, than just being single, than just not fully committing and devoting. And also some others, <laughs> others of you guys, um, they're looking to chase after you or they've been thinking about it, whether how to do it still is in the back of their minds or if they even should. But the more you're pulling the way, the more the more they feel that draw to communicate, to talk, to work things out. And I hear Pisces too, you were always like an, uh, a good listener as far as like hearing them out and what they were going through in life. You were that healing energy as far as just being there when they needed you to talk things out specifically. Maybe you didn't give them money to help them out, but you were there to give your advice and your insight, and those conversations were very healing for them. But what they don't like about the converse, uh, the connection is Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Yeah, it's just from the last time they spoke to you or the energy they were picking up from you from your last interaction, you were just not having it you were not in the same energy as you once were when you guys first started connecting. And to them, it kind of read that you don't want to work on this anymore or that 
if they're not going to show any more effort than just the occasional text, the occasional seductive flirtation that it happens in and out of your guys' lives, you don't want nothing to do with it. And I feel specifically like your last conversation, they tried to come off on some charming, seductive stuff and you just really weren't having it, you weren't interested. Or even for some of you, the last time you were intimate, spent the night at each other's houses, you were ready to get up and go or just kind of like, okay, that was fun. Um, you know, I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, you just weren't looking to cuddle, you weren't looking to do much more. Like after the last physical interaction, there was just something there that just, you didn't feel it was the same. I kinda am feeling with this. And maybe that's coming through the realization that they're not doing much more than what they kind of lead on or what they kind of promise. Okay, I just saw the letter H, first, middle, last, initial. Highest hopes, eight of swords. So Gemini energy. Uh, for some of you, I gotta be honest, Pisces. They're looking for you to reach out. They're looking for you to break the silence so they can come into a better mindset about this, so they can get confirmation that you still care, that you still want this, that, you know, you you aren't mad with them anymore, upset with them anymore, or just wanting to even give this another go or give this another shot, or that you still think about them as much as you they think about you. Um, always with this card, I kind of feel this energy of maybe they've tried to, you know, since you guys haven't spoken, haven't interacted, they've tried to open other options up, but it doesn't compare to you. They still think about you even when they're with someone else. Ooh, Pisces. Um, you've left your mark on them. That is for sure. Wow, when I said that, I heard tattoo, so how long have you known this person for? Or even for some of you, it's like they got a tattoo that has your name or something about you or you got that for them. I don't know. For some of you, that will resonate. Others of you, it will not. But they want to break the silence. They want to break the tension. And even for some of them, maybe to gain the courage to make the decision to reach out to you despite... Because some of you, I got to be honest, not all, but some, it's like that's what you want to see from them, for them to make the initiative, to, for them to go after it, for them not to necessarily chase you, but to just show that, yeah, Pisces, I care about you. I want this with you. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you since we last spoke. You were right all along, despite my, I'm hearing dodginess, like they would dodge certain conversations. They wouldn't be upfront about where they want to take this. But deepest fears is page of swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy that forever, it's like they'll still peep on you. They'll still look at your social media. They'll still ask around about you to your friends and family without ever reaching out, without ever following through with what they really want from this with you, Pisces. Because honestly, a lot of you, they think that you're doing great or they see that you're doing well. They see that they may not see all the work it went into being where you are right now, but you've done a lot of healing, you've done a lot of growth, and you've done a lot of glowing up. And right now you're kind of intimidating them, Pisces, in a way, even if, you know, you don't share much about your life on social media or haven't talked a lot about it, there's just some energy of, you know, even am I good enough or can I even make up for the lack of what I didn't do that made Pisces feel like I'm not interested? Because that's far from the truth, Pisces. But their deepest fears is just forever watching you as you evolve, as you grow. And even maybe even as you move on to someone else, that would that would they are that would really kick them in the butt. Let's just say. And maybe this is the kick in the butt they needed to really understand what it is you will tolerate and what it is you won't. Period. For likely outcome of this situation, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading, where I'm also going to just dive deeper into this connection of the purpose of it, why it's there, what your angels think, 
But before we go, I will pull a card from this deck here. And I'm going to ask if there's anything else that we can dive into about how they feel about you, what they think about you, that they haven't said to you yet, but has been on their mind about you. That can further clarify their feelings for you at this time. So they say, I don't know why the forces were against us, and I denied my feelings for you. Well, I mean, okay, this person has a tendency sometimes to not recognize their own actions and how that applies to the the consequences of their actions. Maybe they kind of just like say work was the reason. They always had an excuse as to why, you know, they couldn't come over when you wanted them to come over or why they couldn't take things to the next level. It was kind of excuse after excuse. And maybe even some of them are recognizing what the core of the issue was. It was never anything outside of the connection between the two of you, but it was something that they were denying within them. And I think Pisces, you just had enough of the excuses. If someone wants to do it, they'll do it. And that's the realization you kind of came to. But, you know, Pisces, they're still struggling with this idea of, you know, despite everything going on in my life, is it something that I can follow through with? Or will they even forgive me for denying my feelings for so long? Because I think you guys knew, you knew despite their inaction, that they cared more than what they put off. But to see how this is all gonna likely unfold and to dive deeper into this connection here, I'm gonna overturn this card in the extended reading. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the reading. Um, if you guys are interested in my two year anniversary giveaway, which I'm going to give away candles, crystals, tarot decks, all that good stuff, um, open up the description box as well and you can scroll down a little bit and find the rules of entry there. If this is where we depart Pisces, I hope that this has resonated with you and has given you clarity and insight in regards to your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.